Welcome back to Big Country Politics on KTAB. Ahoy and welcome to this week's Sunday Conversation here on Big Country Politics. I'm Manny Diaz. This week our special guest is Dr. Kieran Dintiala, otherwise known as Dr. Calm. You are a doctor of uh, internal medicine, stress management. Dr. Kintiala, thank you, uh, thank you so much for joining our program today. My pleasure, Manny. Thanks so much for inviting me. Yes, I'm going to call you Doctor Calm because that's that's who you go by, and certainly it's uh, <laughs> it sounds a whole lot easier to pronounce as well. <laughs> Absolutely, and that is what people need to calm, especially during this election cycle, isn't it? Indeed, indeed. Well, before we get in, so we're going to talk today about election stress and all that goes with that. Uh, being a doctor of internal medicine and stress management, I, you are the perfect guy to talk to about this. But before we get into all that, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you earned the name of Dr. Calm. Well, <laughs> that goes back almost uh, more than 10 years ago. So I was a budding author at the time, 2013, 14, around the time. And then I was attending seminars to learn how to write books. Uh, how to speak and all those things. And then the speaker asked the audience, each one of us, you know, it's like 200 people in there, asked each one of us, get up for 30 seconds, just introduce yourself and sit down. I said, okay. When my turn came, I stood up, said, I'm Dr. So and so, I do this, stress management and all that, and sat down. Now, lunchtime, a couple of hours later, a bunch of people came to me and said, no wonder you're teaching stress management. You just sound so calm. And this kind of, you know, these kind of incidences kept happening again and again. And whether it is my patients who say that I'm very reassuring and calming or audience when I'm speaking. So, and when the time came to brand my company, I said, Dr. Stress doesn't sound good. <laughs> so I think it's better to go with <laughs> Dr. Calm. So that is how this all transpired. Here we are, the genesis of Dr. Calm. Today we're talking about remaining calm throughout the election season. Research from the American Psych Psychological Association has shown that 73% of Americans polled said the election was a significant source of stress in their lives. Tell us about this research and what it means for the 2024 election season. Oh my God, the stress is definitely something people are experiencing every single day, the anxiety, worry, fear, what's going to happen, what is not going to happen. Just yesterday, I did another TV interview in Wisconsin where, uh, you know, where the uh, RNC, you know, convention happened. So someone interviewed them and like every single person is, I don't know what to do. Uh, my wife is a Democrat, I'm a Republican, and we are fighting constantly or vice versa. You know, the wife could be a Republican and husband could be a Democrat. I'm fighting with my family. I'm worried about my uh, nation, what's going to happen to the future of this nation. People have so much restlessness around this topic. That is what is happening. Well, based on, you know, research and people you speak to, do you feel people are more in tune with politics these days? And in and, and honest to goodness question, is that a good thing? <laughs> uh, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Stress, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing depends totally on how you are perceiving it. Because if you are a person who gets riled up looking at TV, reading the news, you know, following the events that are unfolding. If you're a person who gets anxious, worried, it is not good for you. I tell you, I, I will recommend that you better don't follow the news. <laughs> but if you just want to be informed, Take an objective view of whatever that is happening. And if you master the skill of being calm, you know, being like the third person looking at everything objectively, then I think it's very good. 
you can contribute, you can vote right, you can decide, you know, get all the right information. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, coming up after the break, we're discussing how to be happy with no matter who the president is. That and more right here on Big Country Politics. Welcome back to Big Country Politics on KTAB. Well, welcome back to our Sunday conversation here on Big Country Politics. This week, our special guest is Dr. Kieran Dinti Allah, otherwise known as Dr. Calm. We're talking election stress because we are in, we are arm deep, knee deep in the election cycle here. How can people, so when people get together, because it's inevitable for them not to get together and and have different views on, on politics, how can they save yeah. their relationships and protect their health? It's pretty simple. Every single person in this world is entitled to their perception, to their own relative realities. This world is simply made of relative realities. There are very few absolute realities like the earth is round. I mean, there are people who debate that too. There's a totally different issue, you know. <laughs> so, you know, the east, the directions, right? Which way is north, east, southwest? I mean, water, you know, oceans are made of water. There are very few absolute realities. The rest of them are relative realities and so political realities too. If you are born in a Republican uh, family all your life, you tend to probably become a Republican. Maybe not, it's okay. If you're born in a Democrat family or in a state where, you know, there are lots of Democrats, then you'll be like that too. But people, it doesn't matter. Respect their reality. That's the point. Share your views, but don't fight. People need to realize what happens in your house is far more important than what happens in the White House. Neither Trump nor Biden or any political leader is going to come and resolve your family conflicts. <laughs> That's a great yeah. point. That is a fantastic point. Right. So don't fight with them. <laughs> Exchange news. Talk to them peacefully. You know, discuss. Don't argue. News is 24 hours and in the palm of your hand, in the palm of our hands. How does yeah. one stay peaceful during these times? Yeah, well, you must maintain strict media ration, not only just the traditional media, but also social media, which is even more dangerous, I think, because you are constantly watching on your phone. Even if you don't want to, you get these push notifications, you know, like that distracts you, that makes you restless. So you should say, social media, I'm only going to watch... 30 minutes a day, maybe 60 minutes max. That's it. And I'm going to choose what I want to watch. I'm not going to let them decide. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, tell me what to watch. So I personally turn off my notifications. I do not let those apps track my history. My history is off. So they can tell me what I like. I search for what I like. They can figure out my behaviors and go for positive news. Tell us uh, how, how people can get, uh, if they want to read your book, how can they do that? Sure, absolutely. So the book is available on Amazon. And actually, we did the title, a new title called The Mantra of Peaceful Politics. So it shows these effective ways for people to beat stress and be calm during this election season. Amazon, its Kindle version is available, audiobook is available, and also print book is available. On top of it, beyond the election season, if people want to be happy, no matter what the circumstances are, there is also something called the happiness therapy. I provided that link there for people. It doesn't matter what your situation, you can be happy. <laughs> Dr. Kiran Dintiala, thank you so much. Dr. Calm, if you will. <laughs> My pleasure, Manny. Really pleasure uh, being here and uh, doing this interview. All I right. appreciate the opportunity. Well, I'm going to remain calm and good, and we're going to end this conversation here. <laughs>
Let's end this calmly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. For Dr. Kieran Dintiella, a.k.a. Dr. Calm, I'm Manny the Ants. This has been another Sunday conversation here on Big Country Politics. We'll see you next time. God bless.